of Earth's, measuring 2,160 miles. A single day on the moon is the equivalent of 27.3 Earth days. This is because one side of the moon permanently faces us. Luna is phase-locked with our planet. on the other hand, has just one. But it's a special one. Our moon, Luna, as the Romans named it, is remarkable in its size. It is by no means the largest moon in the solar system. Several others are bigger. One of Saturn's moons, Titan, for instance, is twice the size. But our moon is the largest in relation to its host planet. Bigger, and it's the only one of the of the now eight planets that has that situation. The relative sizes of the two bodies are close enough that some astronomers go so far as to refer to the Earth-Moon system as a double planet the Earth in order to make one complete rotation on its axis. Sort of like children in a game of Ring Around the Rosy, they always face inward as they hold hands and move in a circle. No atmosphere also means that there are no air molecules to scatter light from the sun. So the sky is always black. And the landscape does little to help brighten the scene. Blurred tones, grayer tones, looking in other directions, but not so colorful. Extreme temperatures would also add to the unpleasantness of a visit. The swings between hot and cold are brutal. From 270 degrees above zero at midday to 240 degrees below zero at night. have also hit the moon in the past. In fact, these massive impacts are responsible for the dark circular regions on the lunar surface. The shapes that to many observers seem to be arranged like the eyes, nose, and mouth of a human face. They make up the illusion of the man on the moon. They blasted huge basins in the moon's surface. Some of them are 700 miles across. Dark lava eventually burst through at the impact points and flooded the basins. Today, we call these dark regions maria, the Latin word for sea. Eye staring at us. Three concentric rings of mountain ranges surround Mare Orientale, and some of the peaks rise to several thousand feet. They're all effects of the monster impact. This idea received some attention in part because Darwin had a celebrated father. This would then eventually coalesce and form the planets. Roche saw the Earth and the Moon as a solar system in miniature. His idea was that the Earth starts out as a ball of gas and then cools and contracts and sheds a ring of gas that then itself coalesces and forms the Moon. ...of the tide-moon relationship, George Darwin came to the realization 
that the moon is gradually moving farther and farther away from the Earth. It wasn't proved until 95 years later.